Hi, I'm Jen Gender Tracy, and this is episode 10 of My Messy House, because MS is raw and it's real. So welcome to this episode. If it's your first one, My Messy House is all about the messiness, not in the physical house, but up here in the noggin, that messiness that shows up when you live with MS and all of the different attributes that show up with it. So we're having a conversation here and each day I talk about, or each episode, I talk about a random topic that I free flow with. Not like rapping though, because I'm not a rapper. So this episode is about, oh boy, what is it about? Okay, it's about comfort. Comfort and living with MS and how that can tame the messy house. So when I was going to my counselor and she was talking to me about uh, what is one comfortable place in my body that is consistently comfortable. And you might say, well, I don't have any place that's comfortable in my body. I can't think of anything. That's kind of how I felt when she asked me this question because early on dealing with the MS when things were you know blown up in a big way um, and then I realized well you know truthfully I I felt comfort in my toe and this is post the time where I felt that I had like dental floss wrapped around it and it was pulling my toes in a weird way <laughs> it was such a strange thing to experience early on in my diagnosis but that disappeared and only showed up once again. So I said to my, my therapist, I said, yeah, you know, my, my toes, my big toe, you know, the more you can isolate it, the better. My big toe. And she said, okay, so when you need to come back to that place of remembering where there's comfort in your body, go back and connect with your big toe. And that was an interesting exercise to do. So I'm going to invite you to, uh, to consider doing that as well. To just, uh, first of all, just scan your body. You could be laying down while you're listening to this or watching it. You could be sitting down, but just like, just invite you to close your eyes. Take a couple deep breaths. Scan your body. And notice where's there a place that's the most comfortable so maybe it's not comfortable but it's the most comfortable and identify that and just notice how that feels compared to all the other places in your body like for me you know i've got tightness in my neck from being hit by a couple different vehicles <laughs> so that's not a very comfortable place in my body so when i can come back to my toe just I'm just going to do that now, actually, just to, to exemplify this for a moment. Yeah, it's almost like I feel nothing's there because it's it's not, you know, it's a comfortable place. So just to invite you to 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 try that out, see how that is for you. What it does again is it calms the nervous system of the body. It tells that little part of the brain that's the neocortex. It just kind of calms the whole system down. And if you can just do that for, you know, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, maybe you'll, you know, you'll be there for a minute and you won't even know. And just consider playing around with that, trying it out, see how it goes. Write your comments below about identifying that comfortable place physically. Could be, you know, could be just like a nose hair, right? <laughs> if everything hurts in your body, you could just be like, oh, I'm just gonna imagine how that little nose hair is very comfortable right now. And that is comforting. <laughs> Try it out, right? Write your comments below. Know that we are better together. I look forward to um, sharing more with you on another My Messy House. The more comments you write from your own experience too will give me ideas that I can share if you don't mind, that I can share in, in future episodes of My Messy House, and that would be fun too. 
So I'm Jen Tracy. This is My Messy House because MS is raw and real. We'll see you soon.